Hello, hello, welcome back everyone. It is now July 2nd of 2022, and like I say, you know, just a little over a week ago, we had the Kenobi finale debut on Disney+. Plus. It left a lot of fans out there very much, you know, confused and holding mixed reactions over the series and exactly whether or not they really trust in Disney and Lucasfilm with a season two now moving forward as well. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that there's a lot of things happening at the same exact time between John, George, and Dave Filoni to really get the ball rolling here with Star Wars. Now, Given that they are developing shows out there like Mandalorian Season 3, Season 4, the Ahsoka Tano TV show, as well as the Bad Batch Season 2 and Tales of the Jedi, I mean, there's just so much to go over, not just for this year, but for next year as well and beyond. Now, Disney Plus Day and D23, that's all going to take place later this year, that's going to be a very big, important time because that's when a lot of other Star Wars TV shows will be announced as well as at next year's Star Wars, Star Wars celebration that's going to take place in Europe. However, that brings us all the way back to what has been happening with George Lucas specifically and the original Kenobi writer Stuart Biotti and exactly how this all goes back to George Lucas and what Lucasfilm specifically Kathleen Kennedy recently did to George Lucas that in my eyes is probably the worst thing that you could do to George again in terms of backstabbing him and creating these false promises and breaking those promises. So we're going to get into this. We're going to dive into the details. So let's get right to it. Now, with that being said, of course, with Lucasfilm currently working on a Kenobi season two right now, that is going to shift away from the other creators like Deborah Chow and Joby Harold, with Favreau and Filoni coming on board as just one of the few of other creators as well. The first season of Kenobi ran into many issues with, issues with production, but not just that, but also with making and breaking promises with George Lucas and how it had a big impact on him as a creator and person. Now, it's described that originally George Lucas's idea that was supposed to be a part of the series that was catered between, of course, himself and the original writer, Stuart Biotti, including a host of scenes that were promised by Kathleen Kennedy to be used in the series only for her to turn on Lucas, and is now refusing and not even allowing the concept art of his ideas to be released to the public for the Kenobi series. One major scene that both Lucas and Biotti approved and created and went over that was initially promised by Kathleen Kennedy to be used in the show involved a full-fledged battle on Mustafar between both Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi in front of and inside of his castle that would eventually lead them to a saber duel inside of the Sith tomb that resides below Vader's castle. Now, the series was going to focus on scenes created by both Lucas and Stuart Biotti that was also involved, of course, a full-fledged vision that Kenobi would have of a dark side version of 19-year-old Luke Skywalker wielding a red saber Blade, where Kenobi was supposed to fight Luke in a saber duel as part of a vision to show him that if he does not train the boy correctly or raise him in the right way, he will indeed turn to the dark side. This entire scene was created between Lucas and Biotti that was promised by Kathleen Kennedy to be used in the series, but not only did she completely delete those scenes from the script and cancel them halfway through filming, but that Kennedy is now not even allowing the concept art of those scenes to even be released for the fans to see. The reason behind Kennedy not allowing these concept art images to be unveiled is that she does not want a vivid view or contrast to be seen between her version of Kenobi and Lucas's and Biotti's visions and concepts that were going to be used in both the Kenobi trilogy and in the Kenobi series before the rewrites took place. So, Here's one thing that I think a lot of fans need to be very well aware of, is that Stuart Biotti has been very vocal recently. You guys may have heard his interviews with the Direct. Uh, he's been talking a lot more about that. And this all connects to that as well. The fact that they were creating these actual scenes, not just for the Kenobi trilogy, but also how those scenes were going to transfer over to the Kenobi series as promised by Kathleen Kennedy, only for Kennedy to break those promises and deleting them from the script and 
actually getting rid of them halfway through filming. Now, the other thing that really backstabs George Lucas here, that really in my eyes is the worst thing that Lucasfilm can do, aka Kathleen Kennedy, given that she is the head of Lucasfilm, is that she's not even allowing the concept art to be unveiled of Obi-Wan Kenobi, specifically the art of the dark side version of Luke fighting Kenobi, as well as the Mustafar duel between both Vader and Kenobi. That is the one problem that I think a lot of fans are gonna have, is the fact that Kathleen Kennedy once again backstabbed George Lucas, and it doesn't end there, because we have seen this time and time again happening with the Acolyte series of how she made promises with George Lucas on how she would create some of the Legends characters in a respectful manner, only to do a complete reverse on everything that she said. So, it's another prime example that Kennedy does not care about the fans, she does not care about the overall structure of the Star Wars universe, and that's just that. That's how it works, you know? But originally speaking, all right, there is one piece of concept art that was unveiled months ago that did kind of tease that Mustafar duel between both Vader and Kenobi. I'm sure that you guys remember the famous concept art that was actually unveiled, but there was a lot more to it than just that. And that's what Kathleen Kennedy is not allowing to be put on social media, nor is she allowing it to be released at all, period. Moving forward, all right, now, Kennedy does not want these scenes to be ever, ever be made, however, of course, Lucasfilm creators, including Favreau and Filoni, surprisingly, are now trying to create a story for both Kenobi Season 2, and yes, even a Season 3, now that will all lead to, the ex to these exact moments where the final match between Vader and Kenobi will take place on Mustafar, exactly eight years before A New Hope. The plan is for both Kenobi and Darth to have another saber duel once more that will be done by Favreau and Filoni. Disney executives are very excited about this plan after what Kathleen Kennedy did to the Kenobi show and breaking those promises to George. This is described to be Kennedy's way of hiding what Lucas and Biotti created for the Kenobi story. So once again, we have now Favreau and Filoni joining season two of the Kenobi series and how that's gonna all lead to them trying to create another rematch, a true rematch of the century between both Vader and Kenobi on Mustafar. And honestly, it makes sense. It does make sense for another battle to happen. Some of you guys may very well disagree with me on that, but I think that there's a lot more to happen within eight years, given that season two is apparently gonna take place two years after the events of season one, and the same exact thing goes as follows for season three. Why are they making two other seasons, you may ask? They want to actually keep that trilogy format intact. They want to create three stories, just like Biotti wanted to do with three Obi-Wan Kenobi movies. Now Lucasfilm wants to do three Obi-Wan Kenobi seasons. So it's kind of like their alternate version of doing that. And it's all going to lead to the one and final rematch before the one in New Hope, of course between Vader and Kenobi once more. And to be honest, a Mustafar duel is more fitting than what we got on the Rocky World, uh, which by the way was a moon of Mustafar. And it's also gonna be far superior than what we got in episode three, all right? So I think that yes, some fans are gonna be like, well, that's just copying, but I think it's actually rather symbolic. But overall guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me, know, let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.